Hey YouTube, welcome back to Tinker with Tools. Today we are talking about tiny little circular saws, so let's get right into that on Tinker with Tools. So the reason for today's video is mostly going to be centered around the release of Milwaukee's brand new M12 Fuel Circular Saw. It's a 5 and 3 8 inch blade. Now they previously have had other M12 Fuel Circular Saws. Just so happens that when I tried to buy this one, I got mistaken and actually bought the old one. Used it for two to three days before I realized that I had not in fact purchased the brand new circular saw and had to go out and order this one. We'll go through some similarities between the two, we'll introduce both models, and then we're also going to be talking about how they compare to the 12 volt DeWalt version that I also have. Starting out, the new model is going to be model 2521. That's where some of the confusion starts because the old model is 2530. When you see a new model come out, the model number does kind of increase. This one goes back a little bit. And so I think that's where some of the confusion went when I tried to buy it is I actually ended up buying the old version. The new version is going to be significantly more compact. We'll kind of go through and talk about the similarities first and then kind of go through some of the differences. So as far as similarities, they're both going to accept a five and and three eighths inch blade. They're both going to bevel to 50 degrees and that is kind of where the similarities stop. Even though they're very similar in nature, there are a lot of differences. First off is going to be the handle design and on the old saw, one of the things that straight out of the box felt very odd was just how far back the handle is on this older saw. You are behind the tool, your trigger is well behind the center of the blade and the balance, I'm going to be honest with you, is not great. With the new saw, uh, they've significantly moved forward the handle and now the handle is going to be much more on top with the trigger almost dead even on the center of the saw. This greatly improves the balance of the saw and really just the overall ergonomics of it. The next change was they were able to reduce the width of the saw quite a bit. This one comes in at about seven inches wide. This one is under six inches. Now in terms of overall length, this one is over an inch shorter compared to that old one. The other addition that they've done on on the new saw. They've included a place for the dust to come out on the saw and then I actually have the vacuum port attached to it. I have actually just kind of left it on uh, for the most of my testing. This saw does not actually have any sort of vacuum chute, and so the dust is just gonna kinda go straight down. Now the other place where we did see a reduction necessarily is going to be in the weight of the saw. This one is coming in around 5.4 pounds. This one is all the way down at 4.5. So we did see an actual drop, almost a full pound when we're talking about the bare tool weight of the saw. So between the improved ergonomics, the lighter weight, the more compact size, this feels like a significantly smaller, more compact saw and it's a lot nicer to use because of some of those improvements. Additionally, the cut depth has somehow been improved. On the old saw, I'm seeing right around 1 and 5 eighths cut depth. I've measured 1 and 13 16 on the current blade. Now some of the changes that I don't think are necessarily significantly better. On this old saw, you did really have nice markings on the front of the saw to kind of show where they are. They've done away with that in terms of space savings and gone with markings that are a little bit less easy to read. They did the same thing on the M18 fuel circular saw that I reviewed a couple weeks back. I think you get used to it. It's just the old version is a little bit nicer in that regard. With that weight savings, you're also going to have a plastic lower blade guard here, where on this side, it's going to be metal all around. Now, before we start talking performance, I do want to go ahead and introduce the DeWalt 5 and 3 8 circular saw that I actually already own. In terms of overall size, it is going to be bigger than this saw, but it's actually not that much heavier. I never bought this one because I could kind of look it up and see that it wasn't necessarily going to be an improvement on this DeWalt saw that I have. So honestly, I didn't intend buying it. Once again, it was more my own mistake that ended up causing me to buy that. I think the bevel adjustments on both Milwaukee's are going to be easier to read. The new Milwaukee and the DeWalt have a rafter hook. I forgot to mention that. The Milwaukee's is going to be back here on the back and just kind of slides out to the side. It does have the dust ejection and then also the vacuum port here on the back. Overall, there's a lot of similarities between these two saws. This one is going to be a little bit older. I want to go through and do some performance testing with the three saws, and I'm going to give you a couple of comparison points for this. So really, I'm just giving you a comparison point for the old saw. It is not as powerful as either of these saws, in my opinion. But then I also want to run this saw on a 2.5 amp hour battery so you can see that and then give you some comparisons for how it compares to an 18 volt circular saw just so you can kind of see where that stacks up.
Now, when it comes to the new circular saw, I will say this. Every improvement that they made to the saw made a substantial difference in how it feels compared to that saw, definitely how it feels compared to this saw. Before this saw, DeWalt was winning this category, in my opinion, as it compares to Milwaukee. After, they certainly have a new target to look to because this saw is more powerful, it is lighter weight, and everything about it is just a little bit nicer than the DeWalt saw. And even though some of the build quality on the old saw feels a little more robust, I don't think they're cheaping out on anything here. They've just gone with some lighter duty materials. Now, I know that a five and three eight circular saw is not going to be for everyone. And honestly, I don't think you're going to sit there and buy this as your only saw. But I will tell you from having owned it and used it almost exclusively over the last week or two, having a really lightweight circular saw is just super nice for little tasks, breaking down material. There's times when I need to get stuff to fit in a garbage can, for example, and I've got longer stock. I'll take this one out with me to the garbage can and just quickly kind of zip down all the stuff. I had to break down a bunch of old testing materials over the last weekend, filled four different storage bins of different testing materials, and all of it was broken down with this. And for the most part, all of it was done on a single charge with this 5.0 battery. And so that's where it feels like it just goes forever in terms of the number of cuts it can make. If you're already on the DeWalt platform, I don't necessarily think that it's significantly better to the point where you're going to convert to Milwaukee for this saw because this one is not bad. But if you're trying to choose between the two platforms, the addition of this saw just makes choosing Milwaukee as a platform all the better because there really is just a lot of different tools that Milwaukee has that DeWalt doesn't. And with the continued improvement and updates and releases on the M12 platform, it just feels like this one gets a lot more attention than that of the DeWalt. I think this saw is good enough that if you are running M12 for the majority of the tools you use in a day and you want to have a saw option, you can certainly turn to this and it will be able to get most jobs done. If you're a framer or doing a ton of cutting with it, you're probably going to go with a bigger saw. But I really think for just kind of light duty or carted around, having the reduction in weight is a really nice option. So there you have it. That is Milwaukee's new five and three eighths inch circular saw. If you have any questions about it, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. I'll try and get them answered for you. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Make sure to turn on notifications so you get notified when I put out new content. And until next time, I'll catch you on Tinker with Tools.